Hello, this video brought you by Sankran. You might have gone through tab panel tag. As you know that tab panel is used to create tabs for, ta for tabbed content in your page. Uh, rather than having different pages, you can group different content under tabs so that user uh, user can see so uh, so large content in uh, in different sections of the screen one by one. All right. I hope you would have seen or not not uh, seen a switch type at all. Uh, in my experience, I've seen people uh, people doesn't use that much, uh, which you should use on depending on the use cases. Uh, switch type is a special attribute to the tab panel tag. Uh, it can take values like a client, server, and AJAX. Why it is matter is if you forget to mention any value to this switch type, the default is server. Server means it renders the whole page, and client means it actually uh, loads during the initial page load and it will be there. And when the user switch, switches the tab, it just changes the display from one tab to another, but the content itself uh, loaded uh, the any time, uh, which is okay if the content is very small, but if the content is very big or if it um, if it goes through some web services, which, is, which takes quite a substantial amount of time, then you may probably need to switch to server type. Oh, better there are there is a, another type Ajax which doesn't do the uh, page refresh but just refresh the won't refresh the content alone by sending an uh, post request to the server. So it really depends. Like uh, depends on which use cases uh, one one is looking for. And this is the source code for that. What I have done is to give the illustration. I have created uh, three tabs. Uh, with uh, three sections basically each with different switch type one with client and one with server and one with Ajax and you, each uh, section will have two tabs one for Wikipedia page and one is the Bing page just for the illustration and I'm going to show you the output here uh, you can see three sections client switch server and Ajax switch type you can see that in client switch type when I switches back you can see this immediate which means that when the page loads this content and this content got in got loaded uh, in the page already so that's why when I switching the tab there is no delay there's no request nothing it's already loaded all right server server the active active tab content loaded during the page load when I change it to inactive tab that is Bing Let's see what happens. It refreshed. It changed this tab as an active tab, but the content is refreshed along with the whole page refresh, which is very costly. So you should do this. You should go for server type only if the content is uh, content is so big and uh, the user will stay in this tab for quite some time and they don't switch it quite often so it's really um, it really depends on the use case uh, if you don't really bother about uh, page refresh and uh, the user experience it's okay but uh, otherwise if you don't want to refresh the whole page but still want to load the uh, heavyweight content you could probably look for the next type ajax which will do which will do a post request to server when you switches this tab for example if i switches this tab you can see you can see it took some time it sent a post request and loaded this page on demand so when i go here see it's 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 loading this content on demand it's it's it doesn't happen while page reload or it doesn't have it doesn't automatically ref refresh the page it silently loads this content so to me i always prefer this ajax uh, most of the time i use this type don't forget to like this video and provide your comments or feedbacks below.
if you like this video and want to share with friends please share them and if you want to notify about my future videos please subscribe below thank you